In order to work with GitHub extensions, you must have access to some kind of code repository. Now, one such popular code repository is GitHub itself. Others like Bitbucket or Amazon's code commit are also there. In this one, I'll be first of all showing you how to create a repository. And once you have that repository created, we'll start adding files to it and we'll see how we can push things, pull things, and you know, in case of conflicting changes, how we can resolve such scenarios. The first thing that you need after logging in is click on start a project. Clicking on that will ask you the repository name. So here you can say get extension because we are exploring get extension and it is available. Now here you can type what exactly your repository is all about. You can see exploring get extension software. You also have the option of creating this repository as public or private. In this case, I'll be making it public so everyone can explore this. You can also initialize the repository with a readme file. And if you feel like, you can choose to add git ignore file in which you will be able to specify which files should not be picked by GitHub or Git utility. As of now, the default template is none, which means there are no file templates mentioned and all files which will be changed will be made available for tracking purposes. Choose a license. Here you can say none by default. And if you don't want to add a git ignore or a license, you can just uncheck those like I've done over here and then simply go ahead and click on create repository. Once your repository is created, you will be brought to this screen. And here you will be seeing the initial commit that has been done. So the readme.md file has been created for you automatically. And it basically contains this information, exploring get ext software. You can see the name of the branch created is called main by default. And we have just one branch in this repository. If I click on that, you'll be able to see the details of that branch. And when you'll click on code, you will be able to see the HTTPS URL for your code repository. And if you want to go with SSH, in that case, you need to set up a public SSH key. Or you can also go ahead with the GitHub CLI. In this case, we'll be going with the URL, HTTPS, let's copy it over here by clicking on this link. And now let's launch our software. Here you can choose English and you can keep all these as is and click on apply and then click OK. Now here you can see the software is up and running now. You have the following options. You can create a new repository from here itself or you can clone a repository if it's not on GitHub. And if you have the repository on GitHub, it provides you a direct link to that. Let's click on this one. And here you will be required to provide your credentials. In my case, I'll be providing mine. Here I'll be entering my username and password. Click on OK. And you might get this error fail to generate token due to error not found. Click OK over here and close it. Next you need to go to settings. So you go to tools, you go to settings. And here you will be required to go to plugins and then choose GitHub. Here you have this OAuth token. I'll be pasting mine over here and clicking on apply. Then OK. Now you can also generate your own tokens 
by visiting settings developer settings going to personal access tokens and then creating a new token by clicking on this button generate new token now let's go ahead and click on clone github repository and then you will be able to see your repository under my repositories after that you need to provide a destination folder where you would like to clone this repository so here I'll be creating it inside this directory and then I can select this and click on clone protocol as you can see over here is SSH I can go ahead and change it to HTTPS because that is the URL that I would like to go with so let's go ahead and click clone now and it has started the process of cloning and it's done so let's close this now over here you can see that we have cloned it it says the author of this is skill bakery committer is github and this is the initial commit that we have which happened 35 minutes ago when the readme.md file was created now here is the github repository that we just cloned git extension and you see the readme.md file and then we have a hidden folder called dot git so that's how we clone a repository using git extensions